World Cup is upon us, and I'm referring to the World Cup of Hockey, not the FIFA Women's World Cup that is going on now. It'll be the first time since 2004 since the event uh, will happen. And of course, a lot of speculation as to who will be a part of Team Canada come that day. Of course, uh, 2016 in September, or yes, yeah, September in Toronto is where they're going to host the final. So a lot of time there. They have to find out the provisional team by March of this year, or coming up next year. Uh, then they'll have the finalized team just towards the end of summer. Uh, so guys are before summer. So with that said, you look at some of the guys, there's the, there's the notable Crosbys, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to talk about the goalies. They don't care price is going to be number one. Number two, number three, that's debatable. And I want to throw this out there. I think one local boy from this area could make this team. And I'm talking about Braden Holpe. Given what he's done, of course, he still has another season to go to see what he does. But given his resume to this point, should Braden Holpe be a guy that will eventually make that provisional team or perhaps be an official 23-man roster for Canada? Why World not? Because whether or not he makes it to the Olympic team or this World Cup team, which I don't know, is it just me or do you kind of think that tournament's kind of pointless? I don't know why. Well, they, they want, were talking to, they want about to make it, it big. I think it's just pointless. Anyway, that's another it used to be that's big. another the tangent, Canada Cups. But I would have to say, definitely, he has earned his keep. If this was the conversation a few years ago, no. But right now, he's definitely, when you look at his stats compared to, like, around the league, he's top 10 within everything. He was, like, first when it comes to saves. Um, his shutouts over the play, you know, in the playoffs, he has earned his keep. Yeah, he has a pretty good team in front of him, but I would have to say if you are going to give him a shot and you're thinking about the Olympics down the road, if NHL players do make it there, why not kind of give him his kind of, you know, interview for the job, let's just say, he with the been, World that's Cup. That's the thing. He hasn't been part of a World no. Hockey Championship or anything like that. So this would but be the yet, time to start. But yet, he's been shown time and time again to be a reliable goalie. Barry Trotz likes this guy. Put all his eggs in him, and he played, I guess, a record amount of games yeah. this uh, following season, this past yeah. season with the Washington Capitals, and also took him one game away uh, within reaching the conference finals. So you look at all that in perspective, what he's done. We know you agree, and you give it a definite yes. What about you, Andrew? Uh, I'm iffy. I'm him at number three, I think. Behind? Well, he would, he'd be Obviously, the Price, that's no no-brainer. And then I put Crawford at number two. I think his work and what he's done... It may be overshadowed because he plays for the Blackhawks, but and he's won Stanley Cups. You know, we talk when we go to these tournaments, you need a guy who's used to pressure and used to all that. Well, Crawford's used to that. Hope he's not. And that's the one little minus against him. And now we're getting into a group of goalies like, you know, Crawford or Mike, sorry, Mike Smith, Holpe, Luongo, if he's still around, it's yeah. being a third, you know. Andre Fleury, who knows? Like, there's a well, there's group Mike of, Smith previously who was yeah. on the World Championship team I think Mike Smith and Fleury, though, have kind of played themselves off the team. I think it's other guys who have kind of played their way back on. Luongo, you can never forget. The guy is team a good – heart. Yeah, yeah, he is a good goalie. But I would say if you're going to give a shot, Holtby would be a great way to start. Like I'm saying, guys like Mike Smith and F Mark andre Fleury, for me personally, I would rather see Holtby than those two guys, even though Fleury has that cup. It just – you've kind of played your way out and it's time. And it seems weird that we're actually talking about other guys on this roster, like they could be legitimate, you know, two or threes uh, going into this one. We haven't said that about Canada. We've always been wary about goalies. So that's always nice it's to see. It's a nice problem to have. Absolutely. Too many goalies to choose from. How about this? You tell me if this is a problem. Leaning into a baseball pitch. Can I see that elbow for me? It's perfect. Oh, I can show you a little elbow. All right, well, you. if you look at it, and the reason why we get to this is Max Scherzer. He was one out away from pitching a perfect game, and what better way to celebrate Father's Day weekend than by giving your dad that gift. However, that didn't happen. Jose Tabata leaned into a pitch, and as you'll see in the Viz uh, in just a few minutes, uh, and uh, was considered a hit, or not a hit, but was considered hit by the pitch and was given the base, ruining the perfect game. Scherzer ended up getting the final out, got the no-no instead, but do you feel that Scherzer was robbed of a perfect game? Yeah, he leaned in. I think he did, which I don't get because some people were like, oh, that's but should that have been a But should that have been an, a, an out, or should he have gotten first? And that was the case because he yeah, intentionally he, leaned in. But there's also so many rules. Like the ump can decide if he tried to get out of the way, and from that view, do you see? Did he look down? I just I feel like he did kind of 
he lowered his elbow to try to get hit, which I don't know why you're going to do that. I understand the game. You're a competitor. You don't like to lose. But you know what? Just give the guy his perfect game. And you don't want to be public enemy number one. He steps up to the plate next game. You are so hated in Washington now. And I just thinking it's not like it was a one nothing game and you have a chance to get back into mm -hmm. it. I'd beam him next time. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you really I'd get I'd plonk him first pitch. Uh, we know we leaned in. My other question is, why are you throwing an inside pitch as your eighth pitch yeah. in that location? Like, I'm not saying put it right over the plate, but of all the places you can put it, high and inside, that's where hey, you're going. Yeah, he, he was dialed game, in. Man. Scherzer was dialed in. I know, in. but he I'm still high and inside on that when you're getting that close. Like, I would be a little bit more. I'd rather the guy hit a little bit more center and give him a shot to be popping up or put it in the field. I wouldn't be high inside. we got to get to this one very quickly. Uh, talking about baseball, uh, sticking with that theme, Boston Red Sox, Pablo Sandoval yeah. uh, got in trouble <laughs> uh, with the team uh, and has brought up the situation about baseball etiquette, was in the clubhouse and decided to pull out his phone uh, where he uh, liked an Instagram picture of a particular woman that, I guess, look like Kim Kardashian. Do we have a picture of this woman? No, we don't. Oh. Was he liking well, we my photo? It. Was that it? I should go look well, there you it. go. Well, it, that's something I want to look at, and that's something different. Guys, do you feel that Pablo Sandoval, regardless if he was looking at you, Nairman, or whatever, <laughs> liking a picture of you, Nairman, that is a baseball violation. You do yeah, not do that in the clubhouse. Just, no, you're an athlete. I understand sometimes we might bring a cell phone in here, which we're not supposed to, which we... Yeah, no, oh, not me. Fired. No, boss. <laughs> not me, sir. But no. Um, but like, no, you're an athlete. No, no, no. Cell phones, all that sort of stuff out of, it could be the dugout, it could be the bench, it could be anything. I don't care. No cell phones while there's play. See, I think another one. Imagine live tweeting from the players during the game. How <laughs> awesome would that be? I think that's the next wave. If they get free wave. range, that would be great, but if they're going to be... I think that's the next wave of things, like... Why not? If they have, especially for baseball, half time they sit there and don't do anything. I got they're most of their yeah, put gum Pablo's on their hat bored because he's got time. He's not going to yeah. be batting. You but know, if maybe the league you implements some... it, fine. But if the league <laughs> does see it, a pretty and you're girl, sitting there maybe, on Instagram, it's no different no. from a guy going up or the, some players going up and looking at a girl in the stands and then ogling her for a few oh, minutes. Well, we all do that. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know. I think it's funny in this case because you know, you're couple, was but you're at your place of work. It's your place of work. There's, there's a time and place to do that stuff. So, so you're telling me you've never sat on the desk and uh, liked an Instagram photo? No, but I will start doing that now. I'll start liking I'm yours during my cast, Instagram and now. then we'll see what happens. You like the, the time when it was liked, he's like, he's supposed to be on the cast right now. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, we got to take a commercial break. we got some bills to pay, and when we return, we got over-under coming up.